Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome to my March stationery haul. So I've got a few things, mainly inks it feels. I have four from this series um, that Goldspens did together with um, Diamine and I'm not entirely sure what the series is called offhand. I think it was something, definitely something with fruits, but uh, I will have it up on the screen. And I have four from this, and one of them is actually my husband's. Now, these look a bit amateuristic, let's be real, with the kind of home printed labels. I am totally fine with that, I don't care about the labels. But for those curious, this is what a reg regular diamine 30 milliliter bottle would look like. This is all the best. This is from the Inkvent calendar. This was the last day, the day 25, the Christmas ink. And it's gonna be out soon. I'm not really excited for all the best, but I am super excited for a couple of other inks in the Inkvent Red series. Um, Brandy Snap, um, Vintage Copper, um, what was it? Seize the Night? That one. Access Purple Cup Murtum. Yes. And Ash, which is the most amazing grey. Uh, but I'm sure you'll see them hauled. Um, potentially next month's stationery haul. But yeah, um, let's talk about the ones I have now. I have Gruntled Guava, which on the website looked orange, but it's more like a a red tone orange, almost a vermilion, and I'm kind of not here for it. Um, but yeah, that's always the risk buying ink online. Then I have Wistful Watermelon, which is literally watermelon colored, and I am so here for that. I have Bashful Blueberry, which is actually my husband's ink, because I bought him a fountain pen, um, and he wanted blue ink, so there's that. And lastly, I have Sultry Strawberry, which is just a really nice pink for painting flowers, if you're so inclined. I will show you swatches in a bit, because I also have a Cocoa Shimmer and a Purple Pizzazz. And both of these are, as you can see, shimmer inks. Now, let me shake it up and we'll try and see if you can see the shimmer in the actual bottle. I'm not sure if the camera will pick up on it, but I will have given it a good go. This is a beautiful mid that words mid tone brown with brass shimmer, and this is a really gorgeous deep dark purple with gold shimmer. And I've got some swatches in my sketchbook, so. You can see them. Now bear in mind this is cream paper and not white, so on white paper they'll be even more vibrant. But this is Purple Pizzazz, Cocoa Shimmer, Bashful Blueberry, <laughs> Gruntled Guava, I I'm pretty disgruntled at that one, um, Sultry Strawberry, and last but not least Wistful Watermelon. I love them, I love them. Well, not gruntled guava as much, but it could all be worse. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I will find use for it. I do want to swatch it next to um, one of the inks I got from the Diamine Inkvent Blue calendar, the 2019 one. Um, well, I, I bought it afterwards in, in a glass bottle. Um, I didn't get the actual calendar like I did last year's Inkvent Red, but I digress. I will link to my Inkvent Red playlist down below. But um, yeah, because I have the, uh, I, I'm under the impression that it is uh, very similar to Fire Embers. And if they're pretty much the same, I will gift Gruntled Guava to someone else because I don't need more. Um, I will say that these were very cheap. They were under four euros, so a mispurchase is not the end of the world. So it's it's less bad than having spent like 15 euros on a big glass bottle and then not liking it. Next up is a fountain pen. I only have one fountain pen this month and I feel like if you're into journaling you will probably have seen this already because it's all over the journaling fountain pen corner of the internet. 
Um, yeah, this is the iridescent Kaweco Sport. The iridescent pearl, if I'm not mistaken, is their latest limited edition, um, well, <laughs> Kaweco collection in the Kaweco Sport series. It's a mini fountain pen. You can put the cap on the back to make it a regular size pen lengthwise. I never write with that. I like it as is like that. Um, mine's got a broad nib, a B nib, because that's my favorite nib. I also, um, I buy shimmerings to paint with, but I also write with them because they're there, um, you know? And I feel like there's at least a small chance that the shimmer will show true if there's a B nib. Also, I just like broad nibs to write with. This is not usually my aesthetic, but I saw this on my friend Lauren Fairweather's um, Journal Sunshine channel, and you should totally check her out because their channel is amazing. It's just so fun. I love watching it. But um, yeah, she unboxed one and some other things. So, you know, check out the video linked down in the description. Um, but yeah, they were unboxing it and putting in a funky mermaid ink uh, or unicorn ink, whatever you want to call it. And I may have ordered another ink from that series. So um, yeah, that's what happens when your friends are also into journaling and fountain pens and stuff, then you kind of influence each other. <laughs> but yeah, well, they got the same pen with the same nib. And um, I mean, for me, it was a no brainer. Even if she had gotten a different size nib, I would still have gotten a broad. And I really like it. It's very smooth. Um, it's, it's just a lovely pen. It's actually one of the smoothest Kaweco sport pens I have, even though I like all my broad nibs, but this is, uh, this is especially nice. It's, uh, definitely as nice as my, uh, my Fox, which is just a dark burnt orange, but, um, I don't think that one's a limited edition at all. I think it's just a uh, skyline or whatever. <laughs> I can't tell all the, the Kaweco sport series apart. I have many, that's all I know. I will do a fountain pen collection video at some point. But enough about inks and fountain pens, let's get into the next thing. Whilst I was shopping on Pulse Pens, where I got the iridescent pearl pen, I also picked up some Posca markers um, because they had a, two, a three for two deal, which is advantageous. And I believe they were also a little bit cheaper than they are at the Wii U, where I usually get them. So I like these super fine bullet nibs. Well, they're not super fine, but they're the finest bullet nib they ha have. And I think this is the, um, yeah, this is the 0 0.7 millimeter. I swear, I have a, such difficulty speaking today. This is apricot, which is a nice pastel orange. Then we have this almost cherry blossom pink. And I think it's just called pale pink, is it? No, light pink. But um, I've been wanting to get a pink for a while, so. And then I got, let me check the name, lavender. Which is just a lovely pastel purple, basically. Um, even though it looks a bit darker than pastel, it, it really is pastel purple. And I, I like all three of them. I felt like I did need those colors, um, you know, because I, uh, I use Poscas quite often. And there they are, just written in my sketchbook where I swatched them. Again, on white paper, they'll be more vibrant or less vibrant, depending on, you know, colors. But um, yeah, I like him. I like Poscas. <laughs> Big fan. I'm not a fan of the finer nib, like the extra fine nib Poscas. Th those I don't really like. By the way, I uh, kept a part of the box of my iridescent Kaweco pen. And I don't know how well it shows up, but even the box was shimmery. I still need to glue it into my sketchbook. I will do it at some point. For now, it will just go back in. Um, yeah, actually, I started the sketchbook this month, so I feel like I can talk about the sketchbook. It's just a pastel purple. My my husband got this for me for Christmas. Well, got yeah, <laughs> he bought it for me for Christmas. There, it's a Talon's art creation one. They're very cheap. You can get them pretty much everywhere. 
I don't like it that much for painting with watercolor and ink, but it's a good sketchbook all in all. And my favorite, favorite sketchbook, the Maruman Gliffy, is kind of hard to get right now, thanks to the... Well, we all know thanks to what. Um, so yeah. And um, yeah, I got a bunch of stickers on here. This is from my friend Will Shop. Um, October 31st. These are glow-in-the-dark pumpkins from like a sheet I got at Tiger last Halloween. This pygmy puff I got at Redbubble. This is by my friend Max, who is a super talented tattoo artist. I will like everybody down below. This is from the same set as that one. This is actually by my friend Will. He's actually focusing on the stickers. I hope so. Then the spider is from another sticker sheet at Redbubble. These two are also from that set of the, with the three-eyed cat and the potion bottle. This is one my friend Lauren sent me. And then I have one by Morino Terrier. Don't focus on me camera, focus on the stickers. And then this was a Redbubble freebie, but I love penny fartings. I actually own a penny farting, a modernized version. So it's more like a regular bike that looks like a penny farting, but it's still a penny farting. The last items I have are sort of stickers because they're washi tapes. First up, Lauren, if you watch this, avert thine eyes because I got some of these for you as well. First up, there's this stack from Hema, and um, it's basically planner washi, I suppose, because it has to do one this week, and then uh, this month. And I really like them, they're simple but effective for my, well, basically planner. <laughs> and uh, the other set I got was like the springy one. I just really liked it. It's it's very simple and um yeah it's just a good show i just really like them then i went to the new well i don't know how long they've been in that building but uh it's fairly recent but the newest iteration of stutless stationery and my heart was so happy it's it's a really cool shop if you're in antwerp go to stop list stationery if you're into stationery and just just go anyway because they've got like some accessories and home decor goods as well so it's worth check out not everything is affordable but uh it's still cool and they also have a what is it i feel like lauren will be able to correct me properly in the comments because she, i know she has one and the she also has a video about it on their channel. I'm sure of it. I'm just I'm just thinking and trying to remember the name. Is it a traveler's notebook? I think it's a traveler's notebook. I will put it up on screen. I feel bad about that, but I mean, I journal in my sketchbook. So there's that. Um, but yeah, first up, there's this washi tape. I mean, you guys, you can't, you can't say I'm not being genuine on here, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, first up, this is this beautiful, beautiful cherry blossom washi tape. I love cherry blossoms. All of my life, when I lived at my parents' house, we had this amazing big, big cherry blossom tree in the front yard. So I've never not known cherry blossoms in my house. <laughs> Well, not inside, obviously, but you know what I mean. Um, and last year, Bert planted um, a baby cherry blossom tree in our backyard. It's basically high. It's it's much. It's got a much longer stem. I I will insert a picture of it blossoming here. But it's got a much longer stem than the one at my parents' house had because that was like uh, more a shorter one. But we wanted one that was quite high up because they tend to poof out as they age and our garden is quite small so that way we would still have proper room to pass the tree but I digress I love cherry blossoms end of story and I was so happy I have another cherry blossom tree then I have one with all over mushrooms it's very autumnal but um as you all know by now if you've seen a couple of my videos I'm an autumn kind of girl. Then I have this little 
tape measure washi. And I just really liked it. I often use tape measures. And um, yeah, I used to sew a ton, but my closet is exploding. So that's the reason I don't anymore. <laughs> Literally the reason. The, this just brought me so much joy, even though it's kind of ridiculous. It's just all multicolored gummy bears. I, I could not resist. I could not resist. And then the final one, is just also like kind of a vintage style floral print, which I thought was just very, very pretty. And I liked it a lot. And it reminds me of, um, it's not the same, but it reminds me of a washi tape that Lauren once sent me a sample of. She made like this, the sample card for me and it was so cool. Thank you again, Lauren, if you watch this. But it reminds me of a washi that was on there and I used it up in my sketchbook when I was journaling. So I got that one because it was reminiscent of the one that was kindly gifted to me by a friend. So there's that. That was it for uh, my March stationery haul. I love everything I got, obviously, but my favorite is probably this Iridescent Kaweco Sport fountain pen, just because it writes so, so smoothly. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite was. Are we item twins? Did you see anything that got your eye that you would like to get for yourself? Hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in, no sh in motion if you haven't subscribed already. Ah, the struggle of the words is real today. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe if you want to stick around. Hit that notification bell because I still do not have a set upload schedule. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!